Okay, so here's a really basic flow that you can do. It's just a few simple moves to practice. First off, stand with feet hip width apart. If you need an idea of how to do that, just put two fists together, put them in between your toes, the, the roots of the toes. And, and, and also, when you're standing, think about grounding through the root of the toe, root of the pinky toe, what we call the outer heel, as well as the inner heel. Notice the tendency of my feet definitely to fall in. Really pin the heels out in order to get a good arch. Now, we want to inhale, float your hands up. Exhale, fold. We remember, we breathe with the movement as you inhale, back bend. As you exhale, fold. Now, inhale, plank. And hold plank for your own goal. So what I recommend is counting breaths. If you're new to this, try counting for two breaths. That's one inhale, one exhale, two inhale, two exhale. Right? And then if you're new to this again, you can lower your knees, come to Chaturanga, and then from there, low cobra. Toes pin, hands still strong, elbows squeeze in, drag your hands back, cart forward. And hold again for your goal. I recommend this for like two breaths as well to open up the back. Curl your toes. And if you're new, you can come to knees and exhale, press back to down dog. Feet again, hip width apart. And check out the hands here. Knuckles really grounding, especially this knuckle. Here, here, and here. Now, here's a move I like to do to strengthen the hips. Right leg lifts, knee straight. And instead of coming straight back up, come forward first and really get the hip connected into the socket and then come up. And here's a classic sweep through. Heel two, <coughs> arch alignment, we're coming in warrior two. So I just use the wood slats. I don't even use the yoga mat really. We'll be on a concrete doing this for sure. And for warrior two, knee and heel in alignment, like heel. Uh, knee right over heel, back foot, it's not straight across, but it's more like so. Be sure to ground through that outer back heel, sink low into the front. We want this ideally thigh to come even with or parallel with the ground, hands come up. For this, spin up the palms and then keep the bicep spinning up as the palms spin down. For, so for example, instead of being here, stay there. Hold here for five breaths. I'm not going to hold it, I'm going to move through. Um, try that other side again. Hands really ground. Bring this up and instead of coming straight up and back, come forward. And then up. The sweep through. I use the slat in the wood to get heel to arch alignment. Again, you want to get the knee right over the heel. Back foot, it's not, it's pointing not this way, but more so. Sink low, get that thigh even. This is just the other side. Again, bicep spin up as the palms come down. Hold again for five breaths. I'm not going to hold for five breaths. We can move through. Chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. This is going to be a nice warm up for you all. And then walk it back. On an exhale, inhale, back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, float. Step your feet together. Let's do chair. Here's the trick with chair. There's a couple, I mean, there's infinite ways to do it, but knees back. Here's what I'm going to teach you today. Butt down. You really, sometimes the tailbone arches, you really got to tuck. And with the upper body, let's try it like so. Try to get those biceps really straight. A lot of people are like this. That's inner chest tension, so straighten the biceps. Get those hands really working. Now biceps disappear. The shoulders down the back. Ugh, hold for 10. I'm not going to do it, right? Because we're just making a quick video. So hold for 10. Inhale, come up. Ooh, we can exhale. We'll just move out real quick. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Ooh, and exhale. That's just a great warm-up video for your morning. Thank you.